In my view, the most important unsolved problem in artificial intelligence is the question of how we can capture meaning. And I think that meaning is best understood as a unified model of the universe that contains the observer, and that includes the observer itself and the observer's relationship to that universe. So uh, in some sense, uh, meaning encompasses res extensa, res cogitans, and metaphysics. Res extensa being the extended uh, space, with stuff in space. Um, res cogitans is uh, the domain of thoughts, ideas, um, projections, and so on. Uh, metaphysics is the relationship uh, between them and the conditions under which all this is possible, the domain of the languages that we use to describe all this. And uh, typically, um, when we learn about this division between res extensa and res cogitans in school, we get a version of Cartesian dualism that assumes that res extensa is uh, amounting to the physical universe uh, versus uh, res cogitans being the mental universe. And um, this is already fundamentally confused because um, res extensa is basically a game engine that our brain is generating in most of its capacity uh, to, uh, as a perceptual model to explain the patterns in our retina and body surface. So uh, in some sense, res extensa is a modeling domain. It, uh, it uh, makes everything intelligible as uh, being a region in the same dynamically evolving three-dimensional space. And uh, physicists uh, understand uh, largely that this space is a mathematical model. And uh, what we have outside in physics is some kind of generator that um, can be described with a complex mathematics and is hard to understand. And that the models that our brain is making of stuff in space is an approximate uh, representation at the level at which uh, we are entangled as observers. So relatively macroscopic level that is um, somewhat Newtonian and so on. And um, to the creation of this unified model, this um, stuff in space model and the relationships to the observer and the model of our own agency and so on are all generated in our uh, mind. And our mind uh, must therefore uh, contain a solution to the problem of capturing meaning, but we don't yet know what it is. And in some sense, AI uh, has been started as the philosophical project of discovering that, of finding that out in my view. And, uh, the practice of AI is largely an engineering discipline that is unrelated to this question or only very tangentially related to it. But the question that motivated uh, the founders of the field uh, was very much related to this. And uh, in many ways, the true start of the field, I think, um, was in the last century with Wittgenstein, who uh, was the teacher of Turing. And uh, Wittgenstein's project is in some sense to develop a language in which he can do proper philosophy, which means a mathematization of philosophy and a bridging between uh, the natural language in which we think in philosophy and the mathematical languages in which we can uh, define truths. And uh, this missing link between mathematics and philosophy in some sense is uh, the automation of the mind itself, which is AI.